We live in a world where we are constantly bombarded with anxious news and more opinions than we can possibly process. We need direction and peace that can only be found by connecting with the heart of God. The ancient path is about discovering the deep and timeless foundations of our faith. It's about connecting back with new clarity to the heart of the global church from centuries past. So let's start at the very beginning. God the Father. The Nicene Creed, which is our creed of choice because it's the most ecumenical of all creeds and has the longest duration, being established in 325 AD, it begins with these words, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. Notice how our scripture begins, in the beginning, God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and empty. Right out of the gate, you you may notice the common language of God as creator in both texts. Here, we come to a very important theological proposition. God is creator, and he created the world creatio ex nihilo. That's just cool to say, creatio ex nihilo. Break that out at your next party, and you're bound to be cool. Or not. Anyway, creatio ex nihilo means that God created everything that is from absolutely nothing. Now the question is, why is that important? It's important because it means that nothing precedes God. All of creation is created by God. But again, you may be thinking, I believe in God. I believe that He's the creator. But what does that have to do with my day-to-day life? Great question. That means God alone as creator is the only one who stands outside of creation. This means God alone has the perspective to judge accurately all of creation. God has an outsider, objective perspective. On the other hand, we live in the midst of it all. You may remember God's only prohibitive commandment to Adam and Eve was, don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil is about thinking that I possess the knowledge to judge right from wrong apart from a relationship with God. How does this tie back to the idea of creatio ex nihilo? The point is all of us have a very limited perspective based on our limited ability to understand how decisions play out in time. The problem with us judging good from evil, apart from a relationship with God, is that we stand inside creation. God stands outside of creation. Our perspective is very small. God's perspective is all-encompassing. We see the immediate consequence of our decisions, and, and at most we may be able to see a monochrome of the consequences of our decisions a year or so down the road. But we can barely see how one decision affects another decision, and another decision, and another decision. None of us can see any one decision and and how it plays out over even a five-year time span. In the grand scheme of things, we frankly know next to nothing. So when we say God is the creator of the world, and he created it creatio ex nihilo, what we're really saying is God is the one who can rightly and accurately judge good from evil. He's the only one who can judge right from wrong. So to whatever degree I live, as if I can make decisions about what is good or bad for me without seeking God, without basing it on His Word and a relationship with Him, I'm living as if I have the perspective to see all ends, to see how every decision works out apart from God's wisdom and discernment. So the first question is, am I living like God is Creator and as if He created the world, creatio ex nihilo?